Greetings. I have never presented a message like this before that comes from the hearts of my wife and I that is very revealing and humbling. If I cough or clear my throat during this message, I apologize as I continue to recover from the complications resulting from COVID-19 coronavirus, but it is important that this message of gratitude be released today on the final day of 2020 before entering the new year 2021. This is a special message to so many people. To my dear family members, thank you for your uplifting words, thoughts, and support. And to my colleagues around the world who know me as Ambassador Professor, thank you for your kind understanding. And to my beloved church family at the Resurrection Center, along with the Braveheart Ministry, thank you for being family. I am blessed to have all of you as part of my family and extended family, and I cherish all of you. Greetings to all with my heartfelt blessings from my family to all of yours. It is with my honor to recognize my family, my church family and colleagues at this time when I needed their true support so much during a difficult year end of 2020. The dedication of your love has been felt. I am blessed to have all of you as part of my heartfelt family, and I cherish all of you. To my family, friends, and colleagues here in the United States and around the world, in Asia, the Middle East, Russia, Europe, and Latin America, let me say that I love you and have comfort having you in my life and allowing me to serve your civilian needs in business, education, and technology. And of course, the good work at Harvard University through the Pace Institute will continue from 2020 into 2021. Again, thank you, all of you. To my church family that is truly a family, I bless you. In the Bible, the scripture, 1st of John, chapter 4, verse 7 reads, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Let me tell you, I feel your love within the Holy Spirit. As we close out the 2020 year and enter into the year 2021, I want to take a moment to give thanks and present blessings to those who prayed over me and supported my family during a difficult, challenging COVID-19 coronavirus illness that was heightened by a cytokine storm illness. In my 12-hour stay in the hospital emergency room, I felt that I was not alone as God has a continued purpose for me. I know that many others are less fortunate and families are changed through the severest difficulties beyond what I can imagine. I fully recognize that and I get that. My heart uplifts those affected and also your family in sincere prayer. I ask for peace, love, and joy to be restored to your homes. And I ask the Lord to uplift those families and to take the peace, calm, and joy in their hearts so that they too can be healed. In the Holy Bible, the scripture, Luke chapter 1, verse 37 reads, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And so right now, I ask the Lord to give healing and restoration to those in need. Again, I take this time to give you my humble thanks and sincere loving appreciation. May you and your entire household be blessed in the coming new year as all of you really do have a purpose given to you by God. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, the scripture in the Holy Bible reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The wisdom as how we should proceed going forward in the year 2021 is found in Proverbs 16.9. And the scripture reads, in his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. That means we are to listen to the whispers of wisdom and strategy of the Lord as we carry out our lives. Please listen for that soft, peaceful, loving voice of God through the Holy Spirit. I pray that all of you are blessed in the coming year. I recite to you Psalms chapter 20, verse 4, and the scripture reads, May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. As we close out the year 2020, here are four things to look forward to in the next year of 2021. Number one, your next birthday. Number two, being with loved ones. Number three, growing in life. And number four, expecting the best. Again, thank you for all your good thoughts and prayers for myself and my family. I bless you all with sincere, humble gratitude. My name is Ambassador Professor David K. Ewan, and I am back.